All right, so the sixth anniversary live stream just finished and well, kind of played it by the books. He played it by the books. I didn't really react to it much because I was translating it, but I'm going to put a little bit of my opinions, right? Let me give you about, let me give you guys some context. So it is November 7th, right? We know that. And next month is what? December. Next month is LOA on. LOA on winter. So LO, he can't really talk too much. So we already kind of assumed, predicted um, that the sixth anniversary live stream is not going to fix your prostate cancer, right? It's not going to fix your balding. So we just came here to enjoy for what it is. What is it? It's just the director saying thanks. And he chit chatted about a couple of things. So let's talk about what he chit chatted about. He talked about the music box. I think it was number 20. I didn't catch it, but it we knew that the former director who is now a higher staff, higher position in Smilegate. That's what usually happens in Korea. If you if you're considered a good director in a video game company in Korea, you get promoted to one of the board members, right? So anyways, the former director wanted to tell us a message, a story, and he had a composer in mind. He got some famous composer in Japan. So blah, 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 blah. Long story short, one of, like, one of the story he made it. Um, and the point of Music Box is to have ordinary, play, uh, ordinary Arcasian's story added in. And uh, a step back from just rating and the toxicity and, you know, gaming super serious. And he talks about that later, that point of gaming being super serious in today, modern gaming, right? I mean, he's kind of right. Like people do take game way too seriously, right? Sometimes I do too. I need to like take a step back, you know, look at it in a different perspective. Casuals act to People were talking about it in chat. There were, I think, like 70,000 Koreans watching this. And they were saying that Casual Act 2 is difficult. Yeah, so the, about difficulty, his stance on difficulty is that you can't always do difficult. You can't always do easy. You need to have difficult rates to challenge people so that people, are, you know, step up, whether it's their performance, their skills, or the gear, something to work towards in an MMO, right? So they... Started tier four with like a lukewarm kind of easy raid or not easy, like not. He says it was not too difficult, Aegir. He, he said there was not too many complaints about Aegir. That's what he said. So Aegir, he wanted to start us off with Aegir and then challenge us with Brel. And then, you know, he talked about how users may feel that in the future, is it just going to be, are we keep going to linear in difficulty like is it gonna get harder and harder and harder are we gonna keep going up in difficulty and he says no no it's it, like he's gonna still want to he wants to still challenge us later right and make you guys set goals and you know things like that like mr 4k doing like forty thousand dailies there needs to be a reason why you do the dailies right so he wants to challenge us but also he wants to make sure it's well balanced right that's what he's talking about like just a good balanced breakfast you know what I mean? That's what he's talking about here. So his goal was to, our goal, he talks about we, like the developer's goal. It was intentional to make Braille a little bit spicier. And his goals were met. And ever since Bro, people were talking about DPS meters. And he, he, he talks about why people want DPS meters to improve themselves, uh, to also improve their guild or Ross, I mean, like their team to help each other improve. Hey, you could be, you could have done this better. You know, he sees all the good things, but he repeats what Gold River said every year that although there are pros, there are cons and I'm just I'm just the messenger, guys. All right? I'm just the messenger. I am pro meter because I I, I am a, a World of Warcraft veteran, right? So he knows that meters can be used positively, but also can be used negatively. And um, because of that, he doesn't want you guys to use meters. He kindly asks you guys to not break the encryption. He knows about the encryption being broken, but you know, that's what he says. Let's move on from that. If you guys want to use meters or don't want to use meters, that's up to you. You guys are grown as adults. Make your own decisions. But that's what he's saying. I'm just translating. 
right? Next, he talks about uh, people in chat are talking about cards. Please help us with cards. And he says, with his own words, he stressed it himself. Of course, we will help you with cards and new users with cards, he says. Of course. He wants to... So some of the things he's envisioning is to help you guys get more cards that you need through your daily activity without like... Mm, what is the word? Putting too much effort, like going outside of your comfort zone to do other like raids or something or activity. Like just from daily activity, there are like put in, put in ways for you to uh, get the cards. And he acknowledges that like getting the cards through the game, it's just scarce. That's why uh, he wants you guys to be able to farm it through your daily activities. Now, how much are we going to get? Is it from the Hidden Merchant? Is it from Chaos Dungeon? Is it from Guardian? The details, we don't know. We just know his vision, right? Is he going to keep his promise? Is daddy going to come home? I don't know. I don't know. Don't, I'm just translating what he says, guys. Now, my reaction to this is that I'm happy he addressed the cards. I hope for the... Is this the fifth or sixth time they're addressing the cards? I hope this one is a home run. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. It's not, it's not, my, it's, my hands are clean. I don't have bloods in my hand. I don't have blood in my hand, right? Like, if they, if they, you know, if they screw this up again, then it's on them, right? But uh, I feel like he knows the new player situation, right? The other day, we were trying to do Super Mokoko in Korea before it was, it was, it expired last week or this week. So I was trying to do it. And I don't know if you guys know, but honing, even with Super Mococo, cost gold past 1540. So from 1540 to 1640, uh, well, 1620, it costs gold. It's atrocious. It's atrocious for new players, right? So he, I know he was thinking of and mentioning new players' experience a lot. So he knows. And uh, it's not only his job to know, but his boss also knows. The owner of Smilegate. I say this because Winter Eloayon, if they don't capture new audience, because the summer Eloayon, I don't know if you guys don't know, uh, maybe you guys don't follow my content, but basically new players came and then they did the Xbox 360 and walked away, right? So we'll see how they cook up Winter because they failed summer with new players. Will they fail new players in the winter again? When the boss knows, the director knows, everyone knows in Korea, everyone knows they failed. Every YouTuber in Korea knows, everybody knows. Maybe you guys don't know, all right? Because you didn't follow the drama, but everyone knows. So this winter, LOA on, new players experience must be one of their primary agendas. And you can see kind of that direction here, right? Because they talk about arc passive revision, cleanup. What does that mean? So he feels that like, I even notice this as I stream, right? People come to my chat like, Zeus, can I open arc passive? I have one piece, two piece. Even though I made videos about it, six videos about it, people still ask. Why do they ask? Because it's too complex, right? So modern gamers, um, we need things simplified way more way more simplification so what he's trying to say is that going from tier three gear with the engraving support blah 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 to you know you know you got to get like you still got to get the accessories like blah 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 even if it's free right and then you have to transition into arc passive so it's like learning two systems that's cumbersome that's inefficient he says it is it's inefficient and that needs a cleanup so what's his it's still in the works but what's his what's his vision to have Arcasia start with Arc Passive. That was the goal anyways, from the get-go. Like the tier three system is too complex. Like you have to Tetris up with the accessories, right? And then you have to cut a rock, blah, 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 blah. But not only do you have to learn that system, but you have to learn also Arc Passive. So you have to like not only watch one guy, but you have to watch multiple guys now. So what he's trying to do for not only veterans, but for the new players as well is to clean this up. So I, I, so you get what I'm saying, guys? Like he's trying to cook a change for new players, like the cards, as well as the the vertical progression of like your settings. He's talking about it. He's hinting it, 
like trying to make arc passive unified like the whole combat like system be unified right now we could talk about what is he gonna do about tripods what is he gonna do about elixirs what is he gonna do about transcendence let him cook in winter loa on and if it doesn't make your dick hard then um by all means go to the forums and complain right so i'm gonna wait till the loa on but i think he knows because of the way he talked about the cars of course we will hope right he i don't i've never seen him talk like that like he put stress on that word right but he's aware he's aware because if this was a public traded company he would have been fired <laughs> in my in my opinion right like after what happened to new players in korea in the summer if i was the boss you know like but okay and another thing i have a theory right is how are they how is smilegate gonna milk players they've milked veterans with tier four okay are they gonna go hey here comes tier five or, or like here comes 200 more eye levels no 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 no, no. it's not gonna work it, it can't do that go cut a new rock go learn more engravings go get level to 40 gems get a uh, 400 more eye levels it's not that's not gonna that's not gonna work that's not gonna work okay so they need a new way to suck people's money as well as player retention and new players to come so think about it guys what can they do well first of all make it user friendly number two what is something that is not too pay to uh not too pay to win not is free to play friendly but also whale friendly as well a bait a new class a new classes it always is and if you're thinking no you're wrong i have so much so many numbers i've so, so many videos so many examples so many other games to prove you wrong come to my chat we can debate all we want i think a new class is coming guys i think the new class is coming koreans are feeling it they were spamming chat about new class we'll get there all right so cleaner game right so he's saying that our vision is to constantly make this game mmoe friendly enjoyable at your own pace he said that okay if you disagree that's fine go write a director a letter he says you can come back at any time right that's his vision and also to provide the quality of lives as fast as they see it like the arc passive cleanup um this is this like i don't think a lot of people were talking about this but it, it is overdue it is overdue like yeah, I think that he should also include the Transcendence and Elixirs up in there as well, right? Like, think, think, think of the overall message. The overall message is new player, new player install, too many guys to watch. I got an old tab, watch this, old tab, watch that. Oh, is this trustable? Is this a credible source? And then, right, and then they go to the land of, if they continue to play, they go to the land of Arc Passive, and then they're like, What? I gotta do this all over again, right? Like, like, yeah. So I think he knows. Let him cook. All right. So they're also working on the block feature because people in Korea, right? Um, because they took the meters away in Korea, right? We have this called called. We have a land in Korea where foreigners can gamble called Kangseon Land, right? So Lost Ark is like that. Lost Ark party finding Korea is like that. It's like casino. It's random. We don't know. You don't know who in your party is the worst. You don't know who is going to perform the, you know, who's going to screw up the most. We don't know because we don't have meters to spot the rats, right? So we call it the casino. It's like a random wheel of fortune. So what people do is block people. So they never meet those bad players again. And Korean players were asking for... You know, if someone's blocked, can it? Sh can you have an icon so that when I do pugs, and if that block person is there, it shows. And he's like, okay. Now he explains the whole purpose of why they even added blocks in the first place to combat her uh, harassment and stuff like that. But uh, he doesn't think that, like, if he if he keeps building the block feature the way users want then he thinks it's going to get a little bit too toxic, a little too serious for the game. Now, he will implement a feature where people that do harass you constantly mail bomb you, DM bomb you, or apply bomb you. They there, There's going to be a feature, I guess, to clean that up. But 
to have it like indicate and track your blocks and stuff. I don't think that's going to happen, right? That's what he's talking about. And server transfer is going to start this year. I guess there's like going to be like windows where you can transfer and then certain servers you can transfer to. Now, it's not just like willy nilly. You could just go anywhere at any time. And um, pretty much it's like going from point A to B. It just overrides to that server. Overrides. It's not like one plus one, right? It overrides. The only thing that will not transfer is obviously if you went from Bobby's guild in server A, you'll not be in guild. You'll not be in Bobby's guild in server B because that Bobby's guild is being hosted in server A, right? So that's, that's what's happening. And hopefully that feature also comes to the Western audience and gifts. We have the six, uh, six anniversary players designed skins and voted by players. If you don't like it, I get it. I get it. I don't like most of them either, except the Gunsinger one. I was actually looking forward to the Gunsinger one. And my God, it looks good, man. It looks better than the, 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 the what is it? The players contest, the art. Yeah, it looks so good. Now we'll watch it. If you guys don't like it, you know, I'm with you on some of them. All right. Some of them I'm even going to boycott. Some of them I went as far as to go next to the person who made it and told them it sucks. Yes, kind of toxic, but it is what it is. I'm tired. I'm tired too, guys. I'm tired of crappy skins too. I'm tired. And it's not just Lost Ark, man. I'm like this in every game, bro. If it's a bad skin, it's a bad skin. If it's a bad dish of noodles, like it is bad. It, it is what it is. I pledge of allegiance to nobody except my own cock. But here we go. Let's watch this. If it's bad, it's bad. I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Oh, okay. It ended the video. Okay, so let me go back. Right? I mean, art is subjective, right? Art is subjective. But here it is. That's the warrior. Looks much better than the art. Paladin, Slayer, boycotting that. Female fighter. Okay, striker, breaker. Gunsinger, what the heck? What's going on? Something, something, something's wrong with my browser. One second. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's finally here. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Oh my God, she finally got tactical weapons again. Just like the second anniversary, it's been four years since then. We've had goofy weapons for four years. Finally, it's back. And she got a cigarello and a leather. Oh my God, side boob. Okay. Stormtrooper. I don't know what's up with this one. I don't know if they censored it. Maybe there are two versions. But the original version, you could see the the tit, you could see the whole tit, and it had a tattoo covering the you know the, the pink stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Blade, blade. Ooh, that little. Mm. Now there are two versions, and if you want to see. Sorry, if you want to see the other version, I'm going to put it on my highlight channel. Okay, so these are the ones that the the creators design, the players design, and they won the contest by popular vote. Um, and then Smogit always does like a second version. But the second version is not here, I think, in the video. Reaper. The weapon is sick. I actually voted for this because of the, we the weapon for Soul Eater. And then the artist actually came out really good. The weapon looks really good. And the kimono looks really, really good. It's dyeable as well. Airmaster umbrella. Okay. And that's for your ears, your cotton swab um, to clean your ears. And the mount, the mount, uh, Koreans were really upset about the mount yesterday. It was all complaining yesterday. I didn't stream yesterday, but um, they said the mount looks like garbage. So the director said that we heard you 
And when you buy this today, starting now, it opened 12 minutes ago, it will look like garbage, but we're, we have edited the colors into a more pastel tone, and that will be implemented in the next patch. So buyer's discretion. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Gunslinger is the model of the anniversary next to the male gunner. And I agree. These two cooked really well. Male gunner is always the guy who wins. He always does a great job. Some people are tired of the tactical look. Gunslinger actually looks like a Nikkei model, man. Finally, a skin that I would pull for in other gacha games. Finally, that tier is that tier. It, it looks like a billion bucks, man. That looks so good. All right, guys. So that is the anniversary, man. Recap. Peace. Oh, I forgot something really important. Right? We talked. We forgot. Thank you for reminding me, my friend. Okay. So about the new class, right? Remember I talked about new class? Because chat was talking about it. I mean, the YouTube chat. So new class. He said they were egging him on. They're like, please, director. What is new class? Give us a hint before you go. And he said, I can't tell you because winter LOA on is next month. So there's a lot of things we've prepared. A lot of things to tell you guys. So stay excited. Stay, you know, look forward to it, I guess. But the chat kept asking him for more info. Please, just one hint. And he said, let me give you one hint. There were some leaks, some texts in game about this thing, and then people thought it was going to be Alchemist. And he said, no, it's not going to be Alchemist. 100% not Alchemist. So he already said no female Pally last time he did a live stream. Now he said no female Alchemist, right? No Alchemist, sorry. So those are out of the question. And then chat was like, then what is it? And I was like, yo, bro, like, help me prepare. Help me prepare, man. Like every other game, new class, man. Every other game, new class, there's Yanagi, there is freaking Cinderella, dude, there is freaking, you know, Wizardale, there is what, um, Camellia, like, yo, give me a hint! And he said, see you in winter, LOA, boys, I'm out, peace.